Hi everyone, I'm Brian Mackey, Product Manager for RMM, and I'm here to give you a quick update on all the releases we've put out in the last few weeks. We've had a pretty busy September. So let me start with the latest enhancements to Apple device management in RMM. And much like this uh, young sapling is growing into a fruit-bearing apple tree, so too is Apple device management in RMM blossoming into a fruit-bearing service, if you like, with the latest addition of uh, Apple configuration profiles. And these are files that you can upload to RMM uh, that you can then use to push onto the devices that you have enrolled in our Mac device management solution with the 3.4 agent. And those configuration profiles allow you to set any manner of uh, settings on your Mac workbooks, anything from installing VPN or updating the Wi-Fi configuration, locking the machine down for security purposes, a very versatile and broad ability to manage and monitor Mac devices using uh, the latest um, update with configuration profiles. So very exciting enhancements and just one milestone on our way to uh, additional services, including the ability down the track for you to support iOS devices. More on that in uh, one of our future updates We've also just added support for remote background management for Mac devices. So you can now use a remote background manager for your Mac workbooks, just like you can for Windows. And that really brings all the major features up to a par that are available for Mac workstations and for Windows workstations. So a nice enhancement there. We also went GA with the latest uh, Mac Agent 343. Uh, so uh, please enroll that uh, out to your devices. That included a number of updates to monitoring checks for Mac devices. In addition, we have added an option for take control policy so that you can auto record your take control sessions right from the start based on that policy setting. So instead of the technician, you having to remember to hit record and there always being a little bit of a gap at the start of a take control session, you can now auto record all your sessions right from the start using that uh, take control policy option. We've also had a patch management engine update with improvements to how you can handle so-called cumulative updates. So you can select if you just want the latest cumulative update in the series or an individual update along the way instead of necessarily the latest. So some more control and some more management options for you there with our patch management solution. Last but far from least, of course, is the introduction of endpoint detection and response directly in RMM. So major exciting new security offering available through the RMM console. We'll actually talk a bit more about that in our next release. Suffice to say that this is a significant uh, enhancement to the security offerings you can provide through RMM to your customers. Okay, that's our release for September. As always, thanks for watching. Go to the status blog to find out any uh, details, screenshots, etc., for any of the releases we've just discussed. And with that, I'll leave you to your lunch, maybe. Thanks. Actually, tastes pretty good. <laughs>